Greetings viewers, Eric Gargai here, back again with another tool review video for you. This one's a little bit different. This time I'm not introducing any new tools to you, but I'm going back over the tools that I've reviewed over the past few months to basically report my progress and see if my opinions of those tools had changed. Uh, and on some of them they have, and on some of them they haven't. So why don't we get started with the first thing that I reviewed, which was this uh, AC Delco. I gotta say, I'm impressed. I have not had any issues with this gun whatsoever. It, it works well, it's, it holds up well, it, it does what it's supposed to do. In fact, you've probably seen me use it in uh, several videos. So I was a little bit skeptical, skeptical about AC Delco to start with, but since I've been using it, I've got to say, I, I, I like it. I like it, I'm happy with that. I had a snap-on version of one of these that might be a little bit smaller. Uh, but you know what? I, I like the serviceability of the brushes on this. I like this tool very much. Uh, as long as we're on the subject of impacts, why don't we talk about the 18 volt DeWalt. Since I got the 18 volt, I'm much happier. I don't have the 12 volt here. I sent that one back. I wasn't really happy with the performance of the 12 volt. There was a lot of contention about whether or not the 12 volt tool that I got was defective because it uh, really couldn't do all that much. We'll never know because I, I, never, I never presented it that way. I just went and got this 18 volt. I do have a regret, however, uh, and that regret is not going for the 20 volt version of this same gun. Uh, so if, if you're thinking about doing this, you might consider the 20 volt. Well, let's, let's just say that in our experience with these types of tools, it seems that the more voltage, the better. So a couple more volts that may be something to, to definitely consider. And also, I, the tool is balanced, but this, this giant battery on the bottom of this thing has always been sort of a, a contention of mine. Uh, next up, the tight reach tools. Um, these, uh, actually, you seem to really enjoy this review. I haven't really had too much cause to use these lately, but, but I am looking forward to opportunities when I can use them. I'm, I am gonna, gonna use them in those tight spaces. I almost, almost forget that they're in there sometimes. But these tight reach tools, um, it's an interesting concept and I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it more. Many of you asked if I could open this up and you could see what's inside. It was actually specifically requested that I not do that. So if you want to see what's inside these, you gotta go buy some for yourself. Uh, next up, Diamond Grip Gloves. Hey, I've been using these for years and years and years. Uh, the review that I did was spot on. I mean, it, it covers it. Uh, I, I use these. However, there are several other options that are out there. Uh, these are latex gloves. If you have a latex allergy, uh, you don't want to get latex gloves. Uh, they have other options for you in that case. Choose what works for you. This is what works for me. And you know, a, lot of, a lot of you guys like have a problem with me using gloves, especially since I say things like stay dirty. Beat me up all you like. Uh, next, the slime inflator. Uh, this, I honestly haven't used it since I got it, which is a good thing. It means I haven't had a flat along the side of the road. I was able to do stuff here at the shop. But this guy, um, I, I liked it. It, uh, once again, was a tool that seemed to do what it said it's supposed to do. It's uh, handy, sits in the back of the element now, waiting for a day when either I or somebody else might need it. I don't have too much to add on this inflator. I know I'm gonna get some use out of this because uh, I uh, found out that my Fairmont has uh, compression fitting on the brake lines. So I'm, I know I'm gonna get some use out of this one. So I'm, I'm real happy to, to have this tool and I'm excited to be able to use it in an upcoming project. But this tool, I always love this tool. Um, I've, been, I've wanted one of these for a really long time once I discovered them that they were out there. Fantastic. Now, we get to the last two. The Actron U-Scan. This was a very recent review of mine. It might even been the last review that you saw. This tool actually has some more capabilities. I found out that it does have SRS capabilities in addition to those ABS capabilities. But the one thing that holds me back on this that I didn't like was everything is an app purchase. So if you want um, the live streaming and, the, and the, the bar graphs and all that stuff, that's an extra cost. If you want ABS, that's extra. If you want the code hints, that's extra. If you want SRS, that's extra. So by the time you get done investing in this tool, you could have bought a pretty decent like regular scanner. So, and the only difference would be is this one's Bluetooth. Also, updatable through the app. That's kind of nice, you know, because new vehicles come out all the time. It's nice to have something that's updatable. But many, 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 many of you brought up the application Torque that you use with other devices. That may be the solution for you. If you're looking for the cheapest or most affordable solution, that may be the solution. 
This, I, I've thrown it in my glove box. It's, it's kind of nice if I get a check engine light that pops on in my car or somebody else's car, just to quickly just check it with this. So that's, that's kind of a nice kind of deal, you know, to be able to do that. And now we get to gear wrench. I'm gonna say that this is probably, this is actually one of the main reasons I did this review. I have come to not like these so much. I'm not gonna say because they're made in China, but I will say that using these tools in practice has become, like, you can see it right there, especially on this 14 millimeter. The minute you go to put torque on the, on the wrench, there are times when it will suddenly change direction and flip back the other way. And I'm gonna tell you, this is extremely frustrating when you're trying to use these tools. Now, I haven't used them much, and part of the reason is is because when I started using them, this started there, it just happened again. And that is really, really frustrating. Now, gear wrench does make a different type that does not have the, the switch on the wrench. Maybe those work better, but I've gotta be honest, I am, I'm not happy with these. Uh, I wish I wish I've got a different type. Uh, there are other people that make uh, these, this type of tool. Gear wrench has the name patented, obviously. I've seen better things made from gear wrench. This one, unfortunately, as I said, you put a little bit of torque on it, it changes direction, and you're trying to loosen something, and all of a sudden you're tightening it. That's, uh... All right, well, that covers them. As I said, really happy with most of this stuff. The only thing I'm not so happy with is gear wrench, and many of you pointed out there are more affordable solutions to the Actron U-Scan. It's not a bad tool. It does what it says, and it's got, actually, it's a very capable tool for what you get. I mean, having this really small package in your smartphone, that's, that's a lot of stuff. You get in a little bit of space. But everything else, as I said, um, I'm really happy with that stuff. It's just the gear wrenches is kind of why I, why I did this video. But I wanted to revisit this stuff. I'll put links in the description to all these tools and their reviews. Uh, in fact, I might just do that. I might just post links to their reviews, which have links to the actual tools, so you'll be able to see uh, more information should you be interested. But that about wraps it up for me here in this uh, tool review review. But I just, I just wanted to catch you guys up to speed, and I may do this periodically with some of the tools that I review. Uh, because as you use them, opinions may change. Gear Wrench is an example of that. Hey, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to ericthecarguide.com and check out the welcome video there that will introduce you to all the wonderful features we have at ericthecarguide.com to help you with your automotive issues should you have them. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and play with your tools. I'll see you next time.